welcome to ATCM, the emergency medicine channel. Today we will discuss about breath sounds. We, you all may be knowing the breath sound, normal breath sound is normal vesicular breath sounds. We will see how these breath sounds are formed, what are the abnormalities in breath sound. Okay. If we auscultate in your throat, we will see start from here. This is your trachea, major airway, then it goes to the right side, left side and this is your lungs, this is your lung. If you try to auscultate here, that is bronchial breath sound. Bronchial breath sound will be a high pitch sound, there is a gap in between inspiration and expiration and the expiration is very short. Okay, so you auscultate a person's throat, so you can auscultate like this. What I am hearing is a bronchial breath sound. The breath sound produced in your throat is a bronchial breath sound. So when you are auscultating in the neck, you are getting bronchial breath sound. We will see how this uh, uh, sound will become a vesicular breath sound. You see the lungs, if you see the lungs, you have air in this. Then you have alveoli which contain air, some surfactant here. Then tissue here some fluid that is surfactant fluid here so it's a multiple media it contains air water solid so when the sound travels from here to this area you are auscultating on this part now you will be auscultating on this part that is your lung so when it reaches here what happens is when i am auscultating here the sound has to transmit through, through this multiple media, air, water, solid. I am using my stethoscope, then I will hear something called as normal vesicular breath sound. You have seen here, it is a high pitch sound, here it has become low pitch. There is a gap in between inspiration and respiration that has gone, that is attenuated. So the middle part of the thing is attenuated. And the end is little more, that is, uh, sorry, sorry, this is attenuated, this part is shorter, this is filtered. Okay. This effect is called as attenuation and filtration effect. So, a bronchial breath sound which produced in your throat, when you auscultate, you are getting a bronchial breath sound. All of you can auscultate and see, you get a high pitch sound, which is bronchial breath sound. When it goes to the lungs, when you are auscultating in the lungs, you get a vesicular breath sound because sound has to pass through these multiple medias and the quality of the sound will change. So that is called as vesicular breath sound. So bronchial breath sound has become vesicular breath sound. Now we will see some, there are some condition which can produce bronchial breath sound in your lung. So we should understand bronchial breath sound is produced in your throat. When it become, when it travels through the multiple medias in the lung, it has become vesicular breath sound. If there is a problem in these lungs, if there is an alteration in the structure of the lung, it will produce again bronchial breath sound. We will see what happens to this. Now you can see a patient who is developing pneumonia. Pneumonia means the lung parenchyma is replaced by a solid structure. The normal parenchyma of lung is replaced like a liver, it has become a solid structure. You can see this part has become a solid structure. Okay, so that is pneumonia. Now what you should understand is, solid structures are good conductor of sound. So solid structures always conduct the sound like a, uh, uh, through a, through solid structure sound can travel better than any other plane. So here what we are getting is a bronchial breath sound when it was a normal lung, it has become a vesicular breath sound. Now, this normal lung is replaced by a solid structure that is pneumonia. So, sound has reached here. I am auscultating here. My stethoscope is here. I am auscultating this patient. So, what happens? Whatever sound is produced here, it will come to the uh, pneumonic consolidation. Then, I will hear it as a bronchial breath sound. Whatever is produced here, it will be directly transmitted to my stethoscope. So, I get a bronchial breath sound. So, in pneumonia, when there is a consolidation, you get bronchial breath sound. 
Only if there is a consolidation, you get bronchial breath sound. Bilateral extensive pneumonias, you may not get it. But if you are getting a consolidation, you get a bronchial breath sound because the lung parenchyma is replaced completely by a solid material. But remember that you have a pneumonia, but this major bronchus is blocked by a mucus plug. What happens? You don't get any bronchial breath sound. What happens? The sound will transmit up to here. This will be blocked here. Even if you are having a solid structure here, sound will not be transmitted. So you don't get a bronchial breath sound. So in a pneumonia, bronchial breath sound which is produced in your throat, which will transmit very easy to your stethoscope, so you get a bronchial breath sound. If there is a uh, mucus plug which is obstructing the major bronchus, you don't get any breath sound. So that is about uh, initial part of the pneumonia. So that is bronchial breath sound in pneumonia. Now the second phase or third phase of the pneumonia, the consolidated part will become liquefied. Okay, liquefied pneumonia. Okay, that means it, it has broken down. A lot of secretions are there. So when you are breathing, normally you get a bronchial breath sound. It reaches here. There is no solid structure here. Now pneumonia is, uh, uh, resol pneumonia is resolving. A lot of loose structures are there. A lot of pus is there. A lot of sputum is there. It can move in the alveoli. When you auscultate here, now you don't get a bronchial breath sound. You get crepitations. So crepitations will be the sec next finding in a pneumonia case. So initially it was bronchial breath sound because it was a consolidation. Now it has become crepitation because the pneumonia is resolving. So resolving pneumonia produces crepitation. Solid consolidation produces bronchial breath sound. That is because of the transmission of sound. Now we will see other conditions what happens. So I am auscultating in a normal lung. I get a vesicular breath sound. Now if the patient develops pleural effusion, that means this patient has got a fluid, fluid collection between parietal and visceral pleura. So the sound which is coming from the throat, it has reached here, it is blocked here because water is a very bad conductor of the sound. So sound which was produced here was bronchial breath sound. When, it, when there is normal lung fields here, it will become vesicular breath sound. But this is not trans. I am keeping in my stethoscope here. I am auscultating. What happens? I will get a vesicular breath sound only. But it will be diminished. So diminished breath sounds are classically seen in pleural effusion. So water is a bad conductor of sound. It can block the sound which is coming from the this uh, uh, major bronchus, which is filtered and attenuated through the lung parenchyma. But it is blocked. You get a vesicular breath sound, but it is reduced. Now we will see what happens in pneumothorax. Pneumothorax means air in the air outside the lungs. Okay, so this is your lung. Patient has developed a pneumothorax like this, full of air here. So this is air. Same like pleural effusion, the sound which is produced in the throat, which has passed to the major bronchus through the lungs, it has become vesicular breath sound, but it has to pass through this air. I am auscultating here, my stethoscope is here. What happens? This is a very bad conductor of sound. Okay. So air is also bad conductor of sound. Water is also bad conductor of sound. Only solid structures are good conductor of sound. So it is blocked here. So what do you get? You get vesicular breath sound, but it is reduced. Okay. So in both in pneumothorax and uh, pleural effusion, you get vesicular breath sound only, but it is reduced. Whereas in a consolidation, you get a bronchial breath sound. You understood why it is bronchial breath sound? Because whatever sound produced here will be transmitted through a solid structure. It's a very good conductor of sound. You get a bronchial breath sound. Now we'll see what happens in tumors, fibrosis, all these things. Okay. Now this patient has got a tumor here. Very large tumor here. Okay. Now this tumor is in connection with a bronchus. Major bronchus. Bronchial breath sound is produced here. It is transmitted to this tumor. I am auscultating on the tumor. What happens? The bronchial breath sound which will come here 
it's a solid structure it's a very good conductor of sound i'll get a bronchial breath sound so i'll get a bronchial breath sound here a tumor which is in connection with a major bronchus will produce a bronchial breath sound like a consolidation but suppose the tumor blocks this major major bronchus due to some edema or lymph nodes you don't get any breath sound so if there is a tumor or consolidation which is in connection with a major bronchus where the bronchus is not blocked you get a bronchial breath sound now we'll see what happens in cavities suppose there is a cavity here large cavity which is in connection with a major bronchus okay so there is a cavity which is in connection with a major bronchus cavity will be either thick walled or thin walled okay the sound will come here it will go to the cavity you get a cavernous sound like uh, you go to the cave and shout there you get a peculiar sound so a large cavity which has got a connection with major bronchus major bronchus you get a cavernous breath sound this is called as cavernous breath sound but nowadays these findings are very very rare because you are not getting major cavities so most of the things are treated like tuberculosis treated very early but uh, previously you we used to get large number of patients with uh, large cavities where the major bronchus is in connection with a cavity will produce a cavernous breath sound but here also you just uh, imagine suppose there is lot of fibrosis that fibrotic bands blocks the major bronchus then you don't get any uh, any breath sound so if the major bronchus is blocked due to any reason you don't get breath, breath sounds okay now suppose you have a pleurisy that means pleural thickening here full of pleura is thickened okay normally two pleuras are there they will not rub each other there is a fluid in between so there you will not get any friction sound but if the space is fibrous when you breathe it will try to move each other and it will rub each other it will produce crepitation so pleural fibrosis will produce crepitations okay now we'll see what happen in asthma asthma in copd this is your major bronchus this is your lungs in asthma this is your larger larger uh, this one then smaller very small then alveoli okay in asthma the major bronchus will be constricted okay so when the air passes in and out forcefully through this constricted area you get a musical sound that is wheeze asthma is a problem in the larger airways so you may get a wheeze on the upper part of the lung but it is uh, it, it, you, you may get in the lower part also but predominant bronch uh, predominant uh, airway involved are larger airways whereas in copd you get smaller airway involvement okay but both these patients will have wheeze even patients with pulmonary edema also can have wheeze so wheeze is seen in asthma copd pulmonary edema so many other conditions you can get wheeze but classically you get in asthma and copd pulmonary edema is another common condition where you get wheeze crepitations are commonly seen when there is a fluid in the alveoli like pulmonary edema you can get crepitations or there is fibrosis in, in between the uh, alveoli that is called as interstitial uh, ild interstitial lung disease there also you get crepitations or resolving part of the pneumonia when the pneumonia is resolved you get loose tissues in that area and when you breathe it will move it will produce crepitation so we have discussed about normal breath sound which is produced in your throat that is bronchial breath sound when there is a solid structure like tumor or consolidation it will produce same sound what you are hearing uh, on the, uh, on the throat that is bronchial breath sound because solid things are good conductor of sound when there is pleural effusion and pneumothorax you don't get any breath sounds breath sounds are reduced but you get a vesicular breath sound because normal lung when you are auscultating in a normal lung you get vesicular breath sound because it has got multiple medias like air water solid when the sound travels this sound travels through, through a normal lung it has got a effect called as filtration and attenuation effect that will produce a vesicular breath sound so for example i will just auscultate auscultate is uh, throat what i am getting is a bronchial breath sound now i auscultate the first part of the lung that is from the uh, major bronchus it is coming 
I get bronchovesicular breath sound. That has got a quality of bronchial breath sound and vesicular breath sound. Now I am auscultating in the lower part of the lung. It is completely, we have lung tissue here. So the sound which is produced here, it has completely changed to vesicular breath sound. So we have discussed about bronchial breath sound, vesicular breath sound, bronchovesicular breath sounds, added sound like crepitations and wheeze. Thank you.